Hello, we at Team States want to share with you our new product, ScubaBot. You see, the problem is that divers in industrial settings have a limited carrying capacity. As a result, divers spend time, resources, and effort to resurface to obtain new tools, supplies, and additional oxygen tanks. The solution, ScubaBot. ScubaBot autonomously delivers tools and oxygen tanks to divers so that they do not have to waste time resurfacing and rediving. Diving companies can save an immense amount of man hours, substantially increasing efficiency. You see, ScubaBot is an autonomous underwater vehicle, or AUV. AUVs are self-propelled and unmanned, smaller and easier to navigate than typical underwater vessels, and designed to be extremely versatile, which means scalable and reconfigurable. Some of the capabilities and benefits of ScubaBot is that it's able to dive to a set point within a diver's location, which allows it to stay within a set proximity. It can navigate underwater autonomously, which aids the diver and gives greater freedom in movement, is able to ascend to the surface and returns to the desired depth as necessary, which removes the diver's need to ascend and descend frequently. And it can most importantly carry equipment, which increases the range of work that can be performed by carrying more supplies. The most direct competitor for ScubaBot is CADI, which is a research project um, done by various European universities. And essentially it is an autonomous diving buddy, which improves monitoring assistance and safety of divers missions. However, uh, what CADI lacks is a physical payload um, that ScubaBot has and it allows um, the diver to receive tools and tanks of oxygen when necessary. Additionally, CADI is, since it's a research project funded by millions of dollars, but for many re research universities, um, this, the cost of manufacturing and the research um, that went into creating CADI is significantly more expensive than ScubaBot. Additionally, other competitors uh, such as Ocean One and uh, various scuba propulsion devices and Sea Raptor also provide um, additional assistance or safety uh, to a diver. But again, what they lack, um, what Scuba Bot has, is a physical payload. Um, so this is why Scuba Bot sits within a unique market for AUVs, which deliver tools. And this market has not seen a cost effective solution yet. So the return on investment. So for a typical 45 minute dive with a single oxygen tank, if a diver were to require more tools, they would have to uh, resurface and then re-dive with those tools. ScubaBot can save you that time and therefore increase efficiency by 51%. Uh, so with these numbers, we can say that it takes about 1,038 and a half man hours to see a return on investment in this specific uh, scenario. And that is based on a uh, price of $13,500 and an average hourly salary for commercial divers um, at $26.32. Um, thank you for listening and please try ScubaBot.